We will now define the two converters whose values are determined by the relationship between the variables. This type of converter is called a graphical function. Select the death rate converter. Note that resources per person is a required input in death rate. Since it's often used as to normalize the input entity, rather than using an absolute value from resources per person, we will use a built-in that will help initialize it. So our equation will be resources per person divided by the initial value of resources per person. And our units will be per year. Because the death rate is depends on resources per person, we'll further define this relationship as a graphical function. Select the graphical function tab, and then go up and select the graphical box. On the graph tab, so reselect the scale to show 0.5, and point two. As the resources per person index goes up, the death rate goes up. So we'll sketch a graph by clicking and dragging from the top left corner of the graph of, to the bottom right. And don't be worried if your graphical function doesn't look exactly like ours. Feel free to come back to this point for reference. Now we're going to move on to regeneration rate. So double select regeneration rate and repeat the equation you used for death rate. So we will use natural resources divided by the initial value of natural resources. Now go down and select the graphical function tab, select the graphical box, and reset the scales to 0 0.05 and 0.7. As the natural resources index goes up, the regeneration rate also goes up. So now we will sketch from the bottom left, moving up to the top right. Again, don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly as ours.